I acquired this inheritance property for $100,000 using successor data. I received a call to my letter the day before the funeral. And the day after the funeral, my offer was accepted. It was owned by a deceased 82-year-old father and two sons. The mother had already passed away two years ago. I got the lead from SuccessorData.com, whose records are now at LeadCruncher.com. Hi, I am Maury with over 25 years of experience and over 1,500 real estate transactions. My team develops tools for realtors, investors, and wholesalers to make their lives easier. Sending a letter to a grieving family may seem insensitive, but it is not. Many times, the heirs have already decided what to do with the property. I'm a real estate professional, not a funeral director, so I don't let that stop me. Funeral service providers send their offers to families because they know when they are most receptive. If they can do that to sell burial plots, why can't I do the same to buy properties? On the property I bought, the father died leaving behind two sons. The mother had died two years earlier. One son came from Northern California to attend the funeral service the next day on Friday. He found my letter in the mailbox and called me. He told me the situation and said that he and his brother want to sell the property as soon as possible. I asked him some question and then offered to check out the property while he was at the funeral the next day. He agreed. We settled on the price for $100,000 on Saturday. I am at leadcruncher.com in my account. In fact, my wife does this. With one click, the new leads are transferred to the account and under, order, and under order checkout, she can take this tag and go to my data. Here we have 1838 records, but she will paste that uh, tag here and she can see the new records. She clicks right here. She knows what she wants. She's looking for rental property. And then she clicks on a Zillow link so this is one way you can look at the property there is another way she will check this is microsoft edge and she will click on this link look at this one it says split the screen magic now we have two screens side by side and uh, she can click on a zillow link on this side and the data is generated on the right side B basically both screens talk to each other this is beautiful so now she will go through one record after another and she deletes the one she doesn't want and keeps the one she wants to keep. Okay, let's say she comes across a property right here. And she wants this, okay, right here. For example, she wants to send him a letter. With one click, she then prints the letter. She goes to generate letter. She checks the box. So I know she sent a letter to this uh, property. After she prints the letter, she will do a threefold. She put it in an envelope, puts a stamp, and this goes in the mail. Here's the letter. Now, guess who gets the call? I do. And the phone rings. Hello, can I help you? Yes, can I talk to Marilyn, please? Oh, this is uh, her husband. How can I help you? Oh, okay. Because they look at the letter and they see my name there. You see it? Okay, I do this for a purpose because I know that's the letter call. That's an important call. Now I take the call from there and I walk him through. I ask some question to see if this property works for me or not, which is exactly what I did with that property in Barstow. Now folks, this cannot be that complicated. Suppose I decided to send a letter to all these people. One click and here's the letter. And the system automatically filters out the duplicate mailing addresses. So if somebody owns six properties, they only get one letter. 10, 20 letters, we can do it ourselves. But if it's 500, 1,000, 2,000, we use postcardcity.com. If you found this video useful, you find more content like it on my channel. We hear this from people all the time, but those little mouse clicks can really go a long way to help me in the algorithm. So please click the little thumb guy. Please subscribe and help yourself with all my tools linked in the description. These are tools me and my teams have developed over the years. Tools I wish I had when I started in real estate. Thanks for watching and have a great day.